Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my planner setup for 2021. <laughs> We'll be going to a top-down view here very soon, but I just wanted to explain that I will be doing my planner-related content on this channel from now on rather than using the old planner channel, um, just because it's not going to be a whole lot of videos, maybe one or two planner videos a month, and uh, you know, I, it, the planner channel didn't work out for me. I didn't like what I was doing. I think I learned. So today we're going to be going over uh, my planner lineup for 2021, what I'm going to be using, how I'm going to be setting things up, and just going over that. So. If you are interested in that, stick around. Okay guys, so this is my planner lineup for 2021. I am using four planners this year. I may at some point begin using my health planner again, but at the moment I haven't been. So that is a separate planner, which I guess I can go ahead and show you. I have this wrong wrong health lifestyle planner, but I have been kind of sort of infrequently using it. so. Uh, I may go back to this, but for right now, I've just been using uh, my catch-all planner for these things. So. so we have my reading planner that we have gone through before, but I will go through here shortly. This is both my catch-all planner and my social media planner. And then this was previously my writing planner, but I am actually going to be using this as my goals planner. And I'm going to do a separate video on this one just because... Um, I want to actually go over my goals and I feel like that would just be a little too long for in here. So I'll show you it basically, um, but then give you like a good view in the separate video. So let's start with the reading planner because it's the smallest. So in my reading planner, I had this sheet that I have had in here. I had it in the first time. It just says you can do anything, but not everything. Um, something that just really spoke to me and meant a lot to me last year that I really needed. And I covered up the backside with just a pretty piece of paper so that it's pretty. Um, this is like my color codes and stuff that I use for branding so that that's available to me when I'm making thumbnails. Why do I keep it in this instead of in my actual social media planner? I don't know. You tell me. We'll both know. But that's just where it lives. I have these dividers from the Homebody Notes, um, which is what a lot of my pages are actually written on. Um, you'll see these that have like the flowers down the side. Those are the Homebody Notes. And I use those to divide my front matter in here. And the first is my read and rating page, which as you can see, I've already read a book this year and I didn't think it was the best book ever, but it's okay. Um, so I have my read and rating and just as I read more books, um, I'll just add more pages in, which is what I've been doing, which is why I love the disc system because I can just add pages in whenever I want. Then I have my monthly book hauls, as you can see, already been busy in January. Uh, my TBR takedown, last year I did it differently and it took up a lot of pages and I was like, that's a lot of words that I don't really need, so let's just do a chart. So this year I did a chart. Um, I'm going to write in my starting number and then I'll have all that information. Um, I start and my end for the month and then I have all 12 months and, you know, if you're following the TBR takedown, you kind of know how that goes. I then have an arc tracker for all of the arcs that I have. As you can tell, I have a lot of arcs for the first few months of the year. Um, Wednesday books has been very kind to me basically is where I'm going with that. There are a few that are not Wednesday books but I think the majority of them are Wednesday books. Again very kind to me and I really appreciate it. I then have my pre-order tracker and as you can see I have a couple of books pre-ordered already. Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sanberry who is a fellow author tuber and I will link in the description box down below and also Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. Of course I've pre-ordered that. Why would I not? It's me. You know I've done it. I then have a list of my 2021 most anticipated releases, which I have filmed that video, but I don't know what order you're seeing all of these in. So some of these pages may be spoilers, but I don't, it, it's fine. Uh, but a list of my 2021 most anticipated releases and the date they release. And then a list of my 20 backlist priorities for the year. I then have a series that I want to finish this year. I did not do a video on this and I probably won't um, just because I feel like it's pretty similar every year. So I wrote like the Red Queen series. I have two more books to read so I put two more check marks and Shadow and Bone I have one book to read to finish. Um, the Lilla Chronicles I have one book to finish. Farseer I have two. Water Song I have two. Broken Earth I have two. Uh, Teardrop I have one book. Throne of Glass I have six which basically just means I've read Throne of Glass and haven't read any of the rest of it. Uh, Inheritance I have three, Otherworld I have two, and Sweep I have several because I've read, I think I have ten left. I think I've read five of the fifteen so I have a lot to go on that stuff. And then that gets us to our second divider which leads us to book club books. 
Um, the first is the AuthorTube Chat Book Club, which I host with Kate Cavanaugh here on YouTube. And our first book for January and February is going to be Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. There will be a live show for that on my channel in February. And I usually have uh, dates linked in the description box below for all of those. So if you want to know when those are going on, those are linked down below. I then have the Buzzwordathon Challenge by Kayla from Books and Lala. And so instead of doing like a buzzword readathon that takes place over a week, she's doing a challenge every month this year. And for January, the book is Dream, and that's why we picked Strange the Dreamer because it fits that challenge as well. Trying to hit as many challenges as we can with just one book. Then have the Wheatberry Fiction Book Club. Wheatberry is my local bookstore, and so I partake in both their fiction book club and their nonfiction book club. Um, the nonfiction book club pick is Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Still need to go and pick up that. I also do Bethley's Patreon book club. This is Beautifully Bookish Bethany, who I will link in the description box down below. Um, and for January, we're reading Boonstruck and Wonder's Promise. And I don't always read these. It's usually just if it's something that I'm interested in or something that I already have. Um, I don't always read them, but I am going to read both of those. So then we have Cassie's Goodreads book club. Uh, this is Cassie from Sassy Cassie. Um, she's wanting to read the winners of the Goodreads Choice Awards winners. The winners of the Goodreads Choice Awards winners. You know what I mean. And uh, I wanted to jump in on that. So we're going to be reading The Visible Life of Addie, Ru Addie LaRue in January. Those are all my book clubs. I know. I'm crazy. Let's go to the other thing. It has its whole section by itself and it is the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge and it is taking place all of next year from January to December because that's what all of next year means. And so my first page, because I have multiple pages, the first page is just me listing out all of the rules. I will link, if you're interested in this reading challenge, I will link the hosts and their channels, their announcement videos in the description box below because there's a whole lot to do with it as you will see as we flip through here. We're doing a group watch along of all of the Marvel movies. So I have the dates and the movies that we're watching when we're doing it chronological by date that the movie takes place, not when the movie was released. Cool. And then I have the live show schedule because there will be a live show every month. I then have um, special admissions, which are the books that we're doing for group books. As you can see in January, we're doing Legendborn. And if you read Legendborn, you get Captain America's shield. So I've got a picture or a sticker of Captain America's shield. Did I buy Avengers stickers just for this? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, my Avengers team. So whenever I complete a bingo board and I get an Avengers team member, I will be adding them onto here, which speaking of bingo boards, we get two character boards, Captain America, Black Widow. And these are a list of all of their prompts and then what you, the power that you get once you finish all of their prompts. And then again, I just bought some stickers to put on there. Hawkeye, Nick Fury, Thor, Hulk, and Iron Man. And uh, there will be more released as the year goes on. So that has its whole section, as you can see why it needs its whole section. And then I just have a folder with some stickers in there. And then this is just the beginning of the actual planner section. Um, so I use this side to write in my TBR for the month and then also I write in what day's books are coming out. So both books that I'm anticipating and books that I have reviews due for. And then up here I have that we're reading one chapter a week of Lord of the Rings. If you want more information on what I'm reading this week there is a TBR video up so you can check that out. In my monthly view of this planner, I put in a sticker and put in what I have read on what day I read it on. So I read Moonstruck on the first, so that's in there currently. Um, I don't always use the same sticker, but that's what we have this month. And then pretty much what I do on here, which I haven't done yet, so I will go ahead and pull one from last year to show you. So this is a page from last year's planner. And basically, if I read that day, I write down what book I read and then what my thoughts were for the day. And I don't read every day, so there are some blank spots, but also sometimes I'll write more than what's just for that day, so I need the extra room anyway. And then down here at the bottom, you can write in, like, your star ratings for the books. So that is what I typically do during the week. But right now, we're not on Monday yet. I do have some stuff in here from... Um, these were actually the books that I finished at the end of last week that were on this side that has been moved to the old planner and then that's the one I read this week but whatever. Um, so that is how I use my reading planner. Whew, that was a lot. This next one will not be quite so involved. This is my Franken-planned setup of my catch-all and my social media planner and I currently use actually the it looks like this but it has like a circle in the front of it 
and it said something like now is the time or there's no time like now or this is my favorite place I don't even know what it said it was something stupid that I didn't want on there um, so I actually covered that with paper and flipped it inside out as you can see this is actually the back cover as well um, but I used this side of the cover instead because I thought this was really pretty and covered that up so I don't have to look at it upside down in there. Um, I keep my stencils in here. I, I did switch this around a little bit. Last year I had my social media planner in the front and this year I have my catch-all in the front. So there's that. Um, this is the view that I use for writing in all of my um, anytime I have a live show or if I'm going to watch a live show or if I'm going somewhere which how often does that happen. Um, any, anything that I need to be present for is in here. There's a lot of stuff. I just write any, anywhere I need to go that way. If I'm trying to plan something and I need to know if I have something that day or not, I can just open this, look, and know for sure if I have anything going on that day. These have a currently page, which I have not figured out exactly how I want to use this yet. I will write birthdays in here. Um, I probably will use the to-do list. and I don't know 100% sure how I'm going to use that quite yet. This is the monthly spread and for the monthly spread in my catch-all planner. I use this for like when I have bills due, things like that. So I will mark all of those in here very soon. Obviously, I'm behind this one. I actually did plan this week, but I actually planned it in the old planner and not the new one. So um, these are all blank. I haven't filled anything out yet, but basically what I do is on this side, I keep track of what I'm going to be making for the week meal plan wise. And then just anything that I have, like if I have a doctor's appointment or if, you know, if the world is normal and I'm like hanging out with my friends or if, you know, we have a family event or whatever, I put that in here. And I also put all of my chores in here. So laundry, if I'm, you know, bathroom, cleaning day, whatever it is that I'm doing, I keep track of my chores on here as well. We will then jump to the social media planner. And in here I have my social media tracker, which I need to make a new one for this year because I don't use all of those accounts anymore. Um, but I haven't yet, but I wrote in January's. Um, I have in here my YouTube subscriber tracker where I'm trying to get to 2,500 subscribers. I have been stagnated this year, very much so. Um, I've kind of been in the same place since October. Don't know why. I guess the algorithm just doesn't like me. I have not set up January yet, but I use this the same every month, so I will just show you what I'm using for December. So December, what I do with my monthly view on here is I write in all of my videos that I'm planning for the month on a piece of paper on a piece of sticky paper and put them in here that way if I you know miss a deadline or whatever I can just move it to somewhere else instead of writing it in and having to white it out and do all that so I will go through that with January's but I have not done that yet because I'm not exactly sure what I'm all I'm going to film for January yet so there will be that and then my weekly pages all look the same anymore so I will just go ahead and show you one of those so this is from the week of December 7th through 13th. And basically I put in what I'm going to film that week, what I need to edit that week, um, my to-do list, which is basically just like setting things up and working on, you know, little back end things. My remember list is usually books that I'm trying to read that week, which I know is kind of weird because I also have a reading planner, but because this is my social media planner and I use this for YouTube and my YouTube is about me reading, I try to keep track of what I'm reading so I know like when videos are, need to come out. Uh, speaking of when videos come out, I also have on here my YouTube schedule of what videos should be coming out on which day. Um, like I said, I know that I do that here, but this is like my overview and this is what is actually going to happen that week. And then on my days of the week, I use that to keep track of when there are live sprints going on. Um, like this was me doing my own reading sprints. These are some friends that are doing reading sprints. I had a group chat one day with my friends, just keeping track of that kind of stuff on here. So that's what these will be used for and this is what it looks like normally. Sorry the tripod shaking I keep hitting it. This is what was once my reading or my writing planner but is now my goals planner. Um, I've learned that having my goals behind me on a Kanban board is not very helpful, um, my tasks at least, so I am going to actually use this for that instead. So let's just go to where we are in here. I use this page mostly to keep track of when we're doing bigger events, like when we did the Worldwide Write-a-thon, I keep track of that on here, and then there were um, like weekly live sprints, I keep track of those on here, um, just especially if it's an event that I'm organizing so that I don't lose my mind. Um, on here, I keep track of my word count, which I will show you in November, um, how I did that. Um, November I had a goal for every day because it was a nano month so I had both the goal and my actual um, but usually it'll just be my actual word count goal for the day 
um, and I'm, I'm happy with that continuing to be that. I then will be using this um, monthly dashboard for my three goals from the HB90 system. So basically this is like my HB90 planner at this point. I'm going to use these three to keep track of my YouTube posts, my writing, and my reading. So whatever days I've done things on so that I know um, my basically my goal for this quarter is to build better habits. So this is just to kind of help me build my better habits. Um, because this has three spots for top priorities, each one of these is one of my goals. And then I'm going to use each of these pages as so these will, I have a YouTube goal, so these will be my YouTube tasks. I have a writing goal, so these will be my writing tasks. I have a reading goal, these are my writing tasks. These are other tasks that will need to be done just to make things work. And then I'm going to use this page for my writing sprint tracker, so when I do sprints, um, I can keep track of those. And then I'm going to go back to the next month. Again, I'll be going more fully in depth in this once I actually write down all of the tasks and everything so that I can actually go over what my goals are with you guys. But for now, that's how I plan to use this. And I'm sure that how I use this will change as the months go on because it's uh, new for me. So HB90 goals planner, social media and catch all reading planner. Now, you know, back to my face. That's going to be it for me today. Let me know in the comments below if you do any planner related videos um, that are reading writing book related because I would love to check that out. That is all I have for today. I post reading writing book and planner related videos a couple of times a week so if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!